Hey friends, it's Jen. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. It is hot here. It's like 85 and clammy, so I apologize if I'm sweating and looking heated. But I wanted to chat with you guys today while I plant some containers. So I have these two cloth bags here. As you may know, if you follow me on Instagram, we are having a real slug Mageddon, <laughs> a real slug issue. I'm using containers to plant things like herbs and flowers and to beautify the space um, even though I'm not able to direct seed a lot in the garden right now. Hi, come here. Come here. This little visitor, always. I have basil right here and I'm going to be planting some basil as well. I think it's really important to talk about this today because I am not a proponent that Silence is a good thing when it comes to the current events in our world. We need to talk about this. I want you guys to know where I stand, what I believe, and I want everybody to feel welcome here. from the past to make sure you're learning from mistakes that you did last send me your letter when you're done evaluating what you're so right now it looks like I'm just going to be planting some sweet basil dark basil like purple basil and some borage in addition to some of these starts like I've got ginger right here flowers like some marigolds and some some cosmos down here too that I'm gonna plant in here so the first thing I want to say is that I want everybody well almost everybody to feel welcome in this space in our farm community this extends to your religion um, the way you your family looks like it extends to the color of your skin and your racial and ethnic background. I want you to feel welcome here. And I know that in order for you to feel welcome here, it's important for me to make it clear that I stand 100% against any injustice based upon any aspect on who somebody is. Injustice is not acceptable to Chris or I. We believe as Christians, as human beings, that it's important for us to fight against oppression, to stand up for what is right and be vocal about the injustices in our world because we're not here to be complacent. We're not here to experience happiness as much as possible. We're here to grow. We're here to make a difference. We're here to highlight the voices of the oppressed. And so right now, I'm not going to be quiet. I haven't been perfect. I've said things that may be divisive and I'm, I'm working hard to pull back my emotions and speak from a place of learning and listening instead of a place of being fired up. But I won't lie, I've been fired up. I've been angry. I've been enraged this week at some of the things I've seen, some of the ways I've seen people respond and the injustice going on. And you know what, that's okay. Jesus was angry. It's okay to be angry. Hey friends, I just wanted to pop in here real quick because as I'm editing this video, I realized I didn't really make enough statements calling out what I meant to call out or addressing what I meant to address. I was being too vague. And I think part of that is subconsciously wanting to avoid being uh, criticized or judged or having hateful comments directed at me for being really honest and that's exactly what I'm trying to say I'm standing up against is that kind of neutrality so just to make it clear this week I've been angry at 
people who are complaining about the riots without seeming to care at all about racism, people who are condemning the Black Lives Matter movement because they're so angry at the, s the small amount of violence and compared with the majority of peaceful protesters. I can understand why you might be upset about violence in any way, shape, or form. I'm not condoning it, but I am seeking to understand it, understand where it comes from, understand the pain and history and trauma that is leading to those kinds of actions because they're guided by painful emotions. And I'm mostly angry to see people who are so angry at the violence in the riots, but they're not angry at the violence inherent in racism. They're not angry at the lives lost unjustly. They're not enraged by ignoring this problem for so long and at the history of redlining in America and people ignoring that systematic racism even exists, people f refusing to acknowledge their privileges based upon the color of their skin. That is what's making me angry. It's focusing on the wrong problem. We need to be focusing at the root of this issue, which is racism, and that is the injustice that I'm referring to here. I know everybody is at a different place of their learning and their growth and their journey when it comes to understanding oppression, seeing oppression, knowing how to respond to it, knowing what to say. Not everybody's gonna respond the same way. Not everyone's gonna speak up like, like I want to speak up. And I'm not saying that you, everybody has to handle things a, cer a certain way. There is diversity in personality, in activism. So I don't want you to feel like, like you're not accepted here if you're not doing certain things. I work in the disability field and I'm a PhD student in human development. I've been in a lot of classes and a lot of spaces where we have conversations about social justice, where we have conversations about inequities and communities and underserved populations and vulnerable populations and, and I still feel like I am totally inadequate with my words 95% of the time and totally unsure of what to say or what to do. And I acknowledge many of you, um, many of us, have a lot more growing and learning and understanding to do on these, on these subjects. I just hope that gives you a little bit of background on where I'm coming from. But I do acknowledge that there have been a lot of spaces that I've been in where I've had the opportunity to think about these things and talk about these things and really realize, wow, I have been in a bubble for so long and I want that to change. So far, a lot of my social justice experiences have been learning and not acting. And I really want that to change as well, starting with how we choose to raise our, our baby that's coming in November. Um, thinking about what we read to our child, the types of relationships we have in our life, how we talk about people with our child, our conversations around the dinner table, what we say when we're around family members or friends who, who make race, racially charged comments or who make other prejudiced comments, like how are we gonna communicate with our child that that's not okay, that we don't accept that. Thinking about these things now because they matter and I need to prepare and it's not going to always feel natural or easy. So I want to apologize first for not being more active and being more, make, make, having more of a passive role and thinking that learning and just staying there was enough, because it's not enough. I just want you guys to know where I stand, what my own background is with, with, with these issues, and that, every, that, I, that you're welcome here. The exception is, there is an exception to you being welcome here. I welcome difference of opinion, I welcome difference of belief, I welcome difference of all backgrounds, but I, we do not welcome hate, we don't welcome extreme combativeness, if we start to see that here in these comments, if I start to see that in other videos, I'm not going to like respond and I will block you. So just know that because if we want it to be a welcoming space for people, that is not going to create it. And I don't want our comment section, I don't want it filled with tons of angry debate. I love 
conversation, even if sometimes I don't agree, I still think it's important to challenge, challenge our own opinions about things because I'm going to be wrong. I'm not always right. Nobody is. So yes, you are welcome here. But if you start causing, like if you start being really combative or being really hateful against the way we practice our life or against other communities, then that is not welcome. And if I said something that was offensive or if I said anything that if I made a misstep and came off as like prejudiced in any way, know that I am fully sorry and I fully acknowledge that that's really possible because we're all, I'm always learning. And maybe, you know, call me out on it, whether you do in the comments, maybe, maybe send me a private Instagram message, let me know. I could have worded something better. I'm just trying to do my best with communicating. And I know saying the wrong thing, but saying something is better than saying nothing at all. Because if I say nothing at all, I don't learn. And if I speak up and make a mistake, then I can learn. So the message is, you're welcome here, but not if you're hateful. I want you to feel welcome here. So that's all, my friends. I got one of these planted. I'm gonna get the other one soon. Sprinkling some basil seeds in here. I guess I'll just sprinkle them all over. I have basil popping up all around this bed because I love basil. I've been eating it every morning on my toast. And I love you guys. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to turn comments on or off for this video. But please, if they're on, please be kind. Please be kind. Bye, friends. Don't try to cover up your way. What you've seen so far though